Japan ending explain directed by Raju Murugan Japan starring Karthi in titular role is finally released on Netflix as the action comedy releases on the streaming platform we thought this would be the perfect time to give you an overview talk about the ending and discuss some details of the film so that you can have the best viewing experience a spoiler warning is in order as we'll be discussing essential plot points and character details from the film but if you're done watching it already let's dive straight into the video anya yeah, while you're at it please like the video and subscribe to our channel it helps us a lot thank you and let's move on to the basic plot the film starts with japan who is a prominent thief sufficiently talented to break into any spot easily japan had an exceptional interest in gold and precious stones and attracted investigation from the police following a burglary at a renowned gemstone dealer somebody dug a major hole entered the shop and took 200 crores worth of gems the proprietor mithes begged the cop to recover his lost gold stating that if they failed he had no option but to commit suicide the case turned into a first concern since the shop was co-owned by the home minister's son-in-law sridhar and karupasmai was called to lead the case sridhar's methods were unconventional as he was not afraid to use violence to get things his way unlike karupasmai during the examination sridhar and karupasmai found a special coin with an exceptional symbol that proposed the burglary might have been japan's doing japan was a world class thief who thought he was the rightful owner of the each and every gold bar because he was the only one who could steal them all as indicated by the police reports japan was an expert in camouflage and could take on any appearance to trick anybody even though he left his signature gold coin with his face on it at every crime scene japan was never caught as well as stealing japan had a special interest in cinema and had multiple movies about his thieving exploits japan was never arrested for lack of evidence and thus he had been roaming scot free making films and acting like a celebrity there was a sum of 182 burglaries reported against japan making him quite possibly one of the most sought after criminals in this manner to recuperate the gold and capture japan an enormous manhunt was begun driven by sridhar and karupasmai even if they had to portray japan as a cold blooded killer the police planned to do everything in their power to catch him in none of japan's burglaries had anybody kicked the bucket but during the royal jewelers robbery a north indian security guard lost his life sridhar arrested radhe and forced him to lie to report that he had been seen japan kill a man Sridhar said if he didn't comply he would gauge his eyes out and even gobble up the gold his wife saved for their children's education and future Radhe didn't want to lose the gold as his wife had toiled herself for it Radhe used to be an alcoholic and glamber and he often squandered his wife saving this risked his wife and she left him drowning in guilt Radhe decided to become a changed man and swear never to drink or gamble but before he could meet his wife and kid he was picked up by Sridhar's team Getting outlined for homicide was the most unimportant part of Japan's inconveniences. His trusted associate Yesu betrayed him in pursuit of stolen gold. He united with a group to kill him and take all the gold. Yesu reasoned that since Japan had just learned that he has AIDS, what good do the gold do to a dying man? In a startling new development, Japan beat the new hooligans almost to death and killed Yesu in the process. Japan didn't murder the innocent like the police made him out to be. He often distributed all his loot to the poor and the homeless. and the rest he kept for his film japan visited sanju his darling co-actor slash partner since they were kids he had been in love with sanju by sponsoring the movie with his stolen gold japan also helped sanju to get her first acting job at the point when sanju turned into a star he refused to acknowledge him accordingly he forcefully entered the set of a film to ask her for what reason she made him extremely upset in any case little did japan have any idea that both tamil nadu and kerala police had a similar thought and laid out a trap for him japan took advantage of the disagreement between the police in tamil nadu and kerala and made off with sanju stealing her vanity van in case sridhar figured out how to get into the van in fact sridhar told japan that the minister had given him an ultimatum to capture him either alive or dead to recover the gold sridhar had no intention of arresting japan he asked him to return only one third of the gold and he would wrap up the case this was where the truth came to light the theft at royal jewelers didn't have anything to do with japan someone else had copied his technique to frame him japan rearranged though his recollections to sort out with one of his adversaries had outlined him for burglary from cctv film japan sorted out that it was gangadharam who had pursued asu to deceive him one of the criminals he had previously trained was gangadharam since gangadharam wasn't answering their calls japan planned to bait him out thus a rumor was spread that japan had died in a shootout with police thinking the news to be legit inbam secured an audience with gangadharam Karupasmai followed Gangadharam to the location 
of meeting because he had the same idea. However, Gangadharam was able to escape during the subsequent shootout. Concerning Karupa's Samai, he was harmed in the shootout and was taken to the clinic by Japan. There, Japan let him know everything that everything was Gangadharam's doing and figuring that they had similar foes. They combined efforts. Thanks to a bomb maker and drone operator, Karupa Samai and Japan infiltrated Ramji Nagar, Gangadharam's homestead. It was discovered after everyone had given up that Mithes had orchestrated the commission project for the jewelry heist. On the off chance that you don't recollect, Mithes was the proprietor of the illustrious Jim Retrailer, which was robbed toward the beginning of the film. Yet, how could he loot his own shop? Mithes has been getting big favors by funding a political party for election expenses since the 1990s. For safety, he formed a strong partnership with the Home Minister's son-in-law and a local leader, Abrad. But the last couple of years saw him in incur heavy losses, this left him broke. And since the election was around the corner, he planned a fake robbery to maintain his influence on the party. However, the commissioner told Karupa Samai to keep this information secret until it was verified. Sridhar's plan was to get the video recording of his scandalous outing from Japan and frame Radhe for all the crimes he had committed so far. For the uninitiated, Japan kept a complete dossier on the department's corrupt and insatiable officers. Earlier, Japan had no problem with Radhe becoming a scapegoat, but the love he had for his wife and children reminded Japan of his mother's love, which he had squandered away. Japan couldn't fathom the guilt he would feel if an innocent family man died an unnecessary death. Japan ordered Sridhar to let go Radhe and kill him instead. Japan also shot Sridhar first to instigate him, and he was eventually shot and killed. Japan was not naturally introduced to the existence of wrongdoing as no one is. The man explanation he began taking was to help his mom. His mother had pawned her wedding chain in order to pay for his son's tuition. But the moneylender kept the chain after she missed a few payments. Japan retrieved the chain by digging a hole in the pawn shop. However, his mother resented him for stealing. She assumed the fault on herself and was jailed for the crime. Japan begged the lawyer who in return asked him to dig another hole. This was followed by another hole he dug for another greedy man. Japan's mother continued to refuse to speak with him after he was released until her death. Japan faulted himself for her demise, however, at last vindicated himself by saving Radhe's life. He eventually accepted death, hoping that his mother would finally talk to him in the afterlife. Verdict There is nothing more memorable in Japan than Karthi's performance. Overall, Japan is a slow-moving, action-packed drama about crime and humor. The film's strengths include Karthi's clever acting, hilarious banter and beautiful soundtrack. However, the weak writing and limited plot lessen the overall effect and that's it. Hey hey hey, thank you for watching the video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching Japan on Netflix. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinemas and series. See you at the next one and for the time being, we are signing off. Peria Vitae and I'll be back.